but we've got to go across the, the river. And there's crocodiles here, he says. I think we're going to try and send the drone over and just see if we can see a crocodile. Wow, the drone was a success. Bloody hell, that was sick. Good morning from Rainy Ella. We've now got to leave here today, find a bus that takes us down to Yala. I don't know how long that bus ride is, or what time the bus comes, or where to get the bus from. So it's been a bit, bit of an adventure today. Mm. See what the day brings. Uh, this called for waterproofs. It did get pretty bad a minute ago. We're uh, got all our shit packed up. We just um, we found out what bus we need to get. We need to get a bus to Kataragama. Kataragama. Uh, it looks on Google Maps to be very long. Hopefully, it's not as long as it says. It says it's gonna be five hours just to there. So. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go further than that as well. So, hmm. hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take five hours. I'm hoping it's not the not the correct route. But we just got to wait for the bus now. Probably going to be an hour or so of waiting around, and then uh, and then we'll be on our merry way. All right, we just found. We just decided to come and have a little coffee while we're waiting, and we found out the bus is not going to get there till half eleven, and it's now only ten past ten. So. Uh, we found this little spot, seems pretty cheap to be honest. They've got a Western full breakfast in here for 800 uh, rupees. So the cappuccinos were 500 each. You get their service charge on top of that as well, which is obviously 10%. They do, it's quite common here for them to do that, especially in the tourist areas. I don't mind paying it if the service is good, but in here it took 25 minutes for the coffee to come. So, And the coffee is not even actually that nice. So I would say definitely stick with the Dream Cafe for now. That's, that was the nicest coffee we had in Ella. This bus costs us 450 rupees each. Just want to say as well that it can actually be quite daunting having to get a bus. There are people offering taxis at the bus stand for four, five, or even 6,000 rupees per person for the exact same trip. But they're going to tell you things like the bus will be full, you'll have to stand with your bags. We haven't actually had to stand once yet. Just be careful with it. Wait for the bus, ask the conductor if it's going where you want to go. It's really easy. The bus journey was actually only two hours and that's to the south coast. Then from there we did get a tuk-tuk. It went straight to our accommodation for a thousand rupees each. Okay, we finally arrived at Yala area. We've uh, been a little bit naughty. Kind of splashed out on the accommodation a little bit. Well, there was definitely more expensive options, but for us, this is way above our budget. Uh, we're here for three nights as well. I, I booked this when I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> so prob probably wasn't the, the best idea. Now we're here, I'm feeling like we're kind of spunking a load of money we don't need to be. But bear in mind, we've been staying at like seven pound a night rooms. We've now got this room here. Uh, we've got a bath. You know, it's, it's actually a really nice room. It's a bit of a weird hotel. Uh, there's only three rooms. We, I, I was expecting there to be more rooms, maybe a bar area or something, but there is fuck all. And there's actually nothing in the area either. So I don't know where we're gonna eat or where we're gonna get water from. So we're just walking around now trying to sort of suss the place out. But this place here, we, I think we paid about 165 quid for three nights. So that is way above what I would have been spending. But as I say, I wasn't very well when I booked it and I just wanted a, lot, a little bit of luxury. Let's just enjoy it and not worry about, not worry about the money. Uh, right, let's go and try and find some water. All right, we have not found any water yet, but we have found a lot of rubbish, a shitload of rubbish. And, uh, and, and we found a, a street dog. And we've also found 
the beach. It's quite nice. Started to feel like we might have to turn this into a uh, survival episode. <laughs> we have to try and live off the land. We found these little rock pools here. I'm thinking, thinking if we try and catch some crabs, and we can have them for dinner. Huh? What is that? Crabs, see? Were they, were they crabs or baby turtles? I think they were crabs. They were way too far. They're not turtles. There's, there was empty water bottles up there as well, so we can. Uh, All right. Dinner. Look at that, we have found dinner. <laughs> dinner is served. Yeah. Nat nearly got swept off a rock. <laughs> so uh, we decided to retreat. Oh. I found food. Although we have just found food. I don't know what that is. Sweet corn. Do you reckon we can eat that? No. Does anybody know what this is and if we can eat it? Because I might actually need to know this information. If times get really hard, I might eat this. All right, we just found these, the old bear boys. Some sort of water buffalo. found a shop. I don't know what they sell. Oh, we found a few shops. Oh, a result. And we have found a cafe. Fair walk. How long have we been walking for? 40 minutes? Yeah. Maybe longer. But here we are. Actually looks quite nice. It's actually quite a nice looking cafe. All right, on the menu, on the menu, these things, are, how much are these? 250 each? Yeah. These are 250 each, which is like 50p each. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll go first. All right, so you can go first. Oh, well, that was fun. Right, time for dinner. We've just learned that this place does do dinner. We have ended up with a Sri Lankan dinner here. We've got five different curries. Can't remember what they're called, but they're, this is very good. This is also good. The potatoes are real nice at this. Basically, it's all really nice. Well, we was actually just planning on coming out here and uh, just chilling by the pool and that today. But just come over here and look at this. That is a nest with chicks in it. I don't know if you can see them. The parents are in there screwing. So we're going to obviously keep out of the way of that and burn. We got pretty burnt yesterday around the pool. It was very uh, cloudy when we first came out here. Not anymore. The sun is blasting us. Yeah, it's, it's hot, man. It's really hot. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's definitely like over 30 degrees. Sort of a nest. You can see ants. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them on here. See the ants? It's an ant nest. It's pretty cool.
cool. How the hell have they made that? Oh, we just met a local on the beach who's telling us about this place to go. But we've got to go across the, the river and there's crocodiles here, he says. It's too deep, isn't it? There's no way I'm getting across there. I, I'm wearing trainers, man. There's no way I'm getting across there. I haven't got my swimming trunks on or anything. I was not expecting this. Uh, this is what I'm saying. Every time you go out, you, you end up doing something you didn't think you was going to do. I just wanted to fly the drone here and get some cool shots, but it is a bit windy. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get them. Definitely too deep. Oh, I don't know, he's getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks really nice here, but yeah, that is deep, man. That is deep. Right, guys, so we have come to the beach, um, and now Dan is making me walk up the mangroves where all the crocodiles live, so hopefully we don't get eaten by one. All right, trying to find a crocodile, and obviously we can't get over this. It is pretty, uh, it's pretty muddy and deep, and I think we're gonna try and send the drone over and just see if we can see a crocodile. Pretty exciting, Let's see what we can find. Success. Bloody hell, that was sick. Um, yeah, well, we're just walking now round to uh, the other side where we couldn't cross a minute ago. We're just gonna go around there now and see what it's all about. Is he? No, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> 